Hey folks, it's Steve Cat 5 juf Hope everyone's doing okay out there this evening. I've kind of been a, been away for a little bit. I um, we just purchased a new RV, and boy, have we got uh, we've had some problems with that. Let me tell you, um, got a whole other story for you on that one. But anyway, in the meantime, I have been working on a project here. Been wanted to go over the uh, FT9918 uh, gain settings, preamp settings. There's three of them, IPO, preamp one, and preamp two. And I kind of wanted to explain to you what uh, what they're talking about whenever they talk about dB. Because if you look at the 991A manual, it just says preamp one gives you 10 dB gain, and preamp two gives you 20 dB gain. Well, we're not using dBs or decibels on the S meter. We're using S units. So I had to figure out what the relationship was between decibels and S units. And I think I got it figured that out, but I want to share it with you. So essentially, uh, with preamp one or preamp two, this can increase the signal by as much as 3.3 S units. So that's uh, rule of thumb, What kind of what it gets down to is every, uh, every 6 dB or four times increase is one S unit. So I'll go over a little bit further, but that's the fundamental rule. Every 6 dB is 1S unit. That, that's, that's, just, that's the shortcut. RST is Receive Signal Report. Of course, this consists of two parts in voice and receive, which is typically on a scale of 1 to 5. And of course, uh, th this is uh, subjective on how well you're hearing the station, how well you're interpreting the station. Uh, you know, the audio is good, quality is good, voice is good, no distortion. Uh, you know that that's real important to the other station because you know if you're if they're clean and distortion free and nice easy to hear that's great they love to hear that. The second part of it is the signal report, which is typically uh, S1, S3, S, S9, S9 plus 10 dB, and so forth. And that's more of a uh, you know that's a you're looking at the meter and that's what you're seeing. Uh, but when you're giving a signal report, you kind of have to factor in if you have uh, preamp one or preamp two on, because if you have preamp one on with 10 dB gain, that's going to add about 1.67 S units to their reading. And if you have preamp two turned on, that will increase their signal as much as 3.3 S units. So you kind of have to be careful about that because, um, you know, the signal report's important. It is. But. I think more importantly is the acoustics, you know, how well you're hearing them and so forth, because there's a lot of vari there's a lot of variables with the signal report, propagation and so forth. But um, anyway, that's just something to kind of kind of think about. We're going to go over the preamp settings and S units and the demo. So essentially on the 991A, there are three preamp settings, IPO, which means no gain, preamp one, which is 10 dB gain, and preamp 2, which is 20 dB gain. So what is a dB? How do you relate it to S units? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. How many S units are added to a station signal you're listening to when preamp 1 and preamp 2 are turned on? A brief review of decibels levels when receiving signals. One of the fundamental things I learned was on your S meter, every 6 dB or 4 times power increase in the other station's power is one S unit on your receiver's meter. That's a key rule right there. That's something to kind of keep in mind because that's important. From this 6 dB to one S unit baseline, we can model the receive S unit change on the 991A with the dB gain of preamp one and preamp two. So real simple, if a station has an S3 coming in on your radio and you turn on preamp number one, the S meter will increase increase 1.67 to a reading of 4.67. If you turn on preamp number two, the S meter will increase from a 3.3 to a 6.3. And I kind of outlined this over here. So if you have a signal at 3.0, IPO, remember, is no gain. And if you turn on preamp number one, which is 10 dB, remember, every 6 dB is one S unit. We got that marked right there. So 10 dB is roughly about 1.67. So that that signal is going to go from a 3 to a 4.67 with preamp number one turned on with 10 dB gain. If we turn on preamp number two with 20 dB gain, that signal is going to go from a 3 
all the way up to a 6.3. So that's kind of how you relate. Uh, just think about it like this. If preamp number one's turned on, it's going to add 1.6 S units to their signal. If preamp number two's turned on, it's going to add about 3.3 S units. So that's just kind of a shortcut. So this example here, right here, the table on the right shows again the model. Uh, again, this station here uh, with no uh, IPO turned on or no gain, uh, you're picking up the signal at an S5 right here. S5, S5, no big deal. Now let's turn on preamp number one. With preamp number one turned on, now that S5 reading that we had is going to go to a 6.67 right there. The same signal, if, it, if we turn on preamp number two, it's going to go from a 5 all the way to an 8.3. So that's, that's, the, that's the factor. Same thing works in propagation. Same exact concept here. If you're picking up a station at a 3, you turn on preamp number 1. That signal is going to go to 4.67. You turn on preamp number 2, it's going to go from a 3 all the way up to a 6.3. So again, quick review. Um, again, IPO is no gain at all. If you're getting them at a 5, ah, messed it up there, sorry. If you're getting the station at a 5, if you turn on preamp number 1 with a 10 dB gain, 10 dB gain, which is equal to 1.67, it's going to go from a 5 to a 6.67. If you turn on preamp number two, which is a 20 B gain, that 1.67 is going to now be 3.3. And now that reading is going to go from a 5 all the way to an 8.3. Same thing with the station uh, coming in from Denver. Exact same concept with propagation, all works the same. If you got a station coming in at 3, if you add 10 dB, remember 10 dB is 1.67. In S units, it's going to go to 4.67. If you turn on 20 dB, that's going to be 3.3, which is double of 1.67. That's going to go to 6.3. So, when you see 10 dB and 20 dB in the FT991A manual, this is how many S units you're going to see the change in. So, that's what's important because when I first looked at this, I kind of went, man, I, I have no clue. So generally, use IPO settings when possible. If the station is less than S3, this might be a point where you can turn on preamp number one and increase their signal by as much as 1.6 S units. S2, of course, will take it up by a factor of about 3.3. Trade-offs are, with each preamp setting, the noise floor will also increase, and this could drown out incoming stations. When we're giving signal reports, uh, it's subjective opinion on how you hear the station, and of course, this is important. And lastly, in HF propagation, the S reading is very, very, it very can vary greatly. So this is important, but my experience is audio quality, feedback to the other station on how well you're hearing in them, um, subjective, you know, what your impression is means a lot because that's, you know, if they're a great sounding station, they're going to love it. If they got problems, tell them and they'll fix it. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. We'll, uh, I've got another video I want to do on, on, uh, uh, power increases but we'll do that in another video so we'll go ahead and go to a live demo and uh, just give you a quick one and uh, hope this helps and um, again sorry I've been away for a while I uh, thanks again for all the comments I know you guys send me a lot of messages I'm way overdue uh, need to get back with all of you guys love the feedback uh, thanks again uh, we'll get a demo going and uh, from KI5JUF thanks for watching